and uh, going to go ahead and uh, say hello and good evening. Uh, my name is Gary Stockton, and I'm uh, with Experian Business Information Services in Costa Mesa. I'm uh, joined by uh, Gavin Harding, who is with our uh, uh, global consulting practice. And uh, Gavin's at the Marketplace Lending and Investing Show in New York. Gavin, how are you doing in New York? Good evening, Gary. It's good to be here. It's a uh, tremendous show this year. Uh, very, very high energy, very dynamic, a little different to uh, some uh, conferences uh, that we participated in over the last couple of years. So uh, some, some evolving themes. You know, two years ago, three years ago, at, at uh, this type of a conference, it was all about growth. Maybe a year ago, it became more about regulation, compliance, kind of a more pragmatic approach. And this year, it, it, it has evolved one more time into the, the core question of sustainability. Mm -hmm. How can marketplace lenders build a solid foundation that incorporates compliance, growth, risk, basic core principles of governance to make sure that they become profitable and that they're still here in three to five years. So it's really interesting to see those themes emerge over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. so, so marketplace lenders, it seems like they are getting their houses in order, right? We've, we've had a few things happen in the last six, eight months that have kind of rattled the industry. But I think a lot of them have kind of taken a step back from that rapid growth pace to get you know compliance and things like that in order, and a lot of them are pursuing partnerships with uh, with lenders, right? That's right. So so some of the key drivers of change over the last year have been, uh, you know, some some things in, in the news uh, that that kind of shook the industry up a little bit, uh, caused both marketplace lenders themselves and the investment community and the banks and bank partners. To, to stand back a little bit and pause uh, and, and address some really key, key fundamental questions. So one of the questions, and let's take this from a, from a bank perspective. Great, great uh, program this morning, four panelists, uh, one banker, three marketplace lending uh, leaders. Uh, and the question was about the interaction between banks and marketplace lenders. And there were some really interesting questions that were asked. And, and one of them was, you know, if every marketplace lender has its thing, its core competency, its target market, the thing it does differently and, and, and better than anybody else, the differentiator. The key question for the bank partner is, how real is that? How do we know? How do we document that? So, so there's, there's definitely more of a, um, you know, it, it's great to share a story with a bank partner. Now the bank partner is saying, that's great, I like the story. Now let me show, let, let me see some evidence. Let, let me see how it works. Show me that you are adhering to your model consistently. Show me that you are documenting what you are doing. Show me that you are being fair and disciplined in your credit decisions. It proved to me that when you say your portfolio is grade A plus, that it actually is A plus. So, so, so not so much a skepticism, more a real life pragmatism to to fully engage uh, with the marketplace lender and to understand their model down to a granular level in terms of process, in terms of business governance. Uh, government governance, management practices, and so on. So it, it's uh, I, I see it as really a, a, a convergence of the new and innovative approaches of marketplace lenders and the more traditional approaches of banking. So I see the two as coming together, uh, being more engaged, uh, aligning more closely, and and a again that overall pragmatic approach uh, is, is prevailing. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing, um, last year when we went, uh, they saw quite um, 
there were a lot of uh, international companies starting to come on the scene. There were um, a number of Chinese uh, marketplace lending companies. Is that kind of still the case, or, or is it uh, pretty much domestic U.S. Uh, marketplace lenders? So, so with this particular event, uh, this year it seems to be uh, mainly U.S. Uh, U.S. based. However, there are some global players. Um, I am not seeing um, a lot of uh, participants and attendees uh, from Asia, for instance, where I, I, at prior events uh, we would have seen more of that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And and so, uh, looking at the agenda, are there are there any sessions that you personally are looking forward to? Well, um, today the 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 one that really resonated with me was the was a session on bank partnerships and exactly how they can work. And and the one theme, kind of the central core statement from that is compliance is now a price of entry. Compliance is not a, uh, you know, a want to have. Uh, the marketplace center has to have solid documented procedures uh, in place to even have the conversation with the bank. Uh, this doesn't mean that there that there needs to be an exact mirroring of the bureaucracy and and, and really deep uh, compliance processes in a bank, but it means that the marketplace lender has to understand the bank's perspective, uh, has to speak the bank's language, needs to understand the regulations with which the bank is complying. That's now the expectation from banks of their marketplace lending partners. And that, that, changes, that changes the world significantly for them. There's, there's a, a demand for a better alignment and mutual understanding, higher levels of transparency, and the application of fundamental principles of management and good governance. So for me, that session today uh, resonated. I think uh, it was a long time coming, and I think it was good for the group to hear that. That's great. So you're there uh, tomorrow. You think you've got? Are you speak? You're speaking at the conference, right? I think it's tomorrow, right? Uh, tomorrow afternoon we have we have a session uh, that, that should be pretty interesting. It's a panel. That's a, a panel session, um, and it is centered on. Uh, Building sustainability in your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you where, kind of where that comes from and why, why we're talking about this. So uh, th there has been over the last year, year and a half, a tightening in terms of the availability of capital for marketplace lenders, a heightening in the demand from investors, from bank partners and others, a heightening in the demand for additional information on more granular data on what's in the portfolio, portfolio contact, content, uh, predicted performance, risk profiles, and so on and so forth. To continue to address those needs, marketplace lenders need to look within their portfolio to add components in terms of reporting, in terms of upfront origination discipline, ongoing management, so that as they approach partners to look at these portfolios and invest in them, the partners can gain a level of confidence that the portfolios are as presented. So uh, tomorrow I'll be speaking with uh, two other panelists, uh, one from the world of regulation and compliance in advisory, an advisory uh, capacity working for a law firm in DC, long history of, long history of uh, working in the regulatory and supervisory market. Another perspective, uh, another panelist is from a firm that uh, assesses portfolios, stress tests portfolios, establishes valuations and so forth. Again, related to our conversation on uh, investment, investment community, the uh, reduced availability in capital, of capital, and the demand for more information. And then um, I'll, I'll be giving some examples of some work uh, we've done with clients in terms of 
uh, of trying to understand the portfolio, of, of, of presenting the portfolio in uh, industry standard approaches, industry standard scores, uh, industry standard analytical approaches that can help bridge a portfolio uh, to the investment community and help that investment community gain the level of comfort that they need. So I think it'll be I think it'll be a lively discussion. Uh, I think we've got some great diversity in the panelists, and from what I saw today, um, I think I think the audience is going to be very engaged and ask some uh, some tough questions. Ah, that's great. So, um, do you think you might have time tomorrow to uh, give us another recap from the event? I'd, I'd look forward to that. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for taking time out. I know you're very busy there. It's uh, in the evening, so thanks for staying back and giving us uh, your update. And uh, we'll look forward to another chat tomorrow around the same time. You're welcome. Thank you, Gary. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Close this uh, little update out and uh, look for us tomorrow about the same time uh, from Marketplace Lending in New York City. And that's the end of this uh, broadcast for now.